New York has been the epicenter for COVID-19 in the U.S., and some Minnesota nurses have done their best to try and help patients there. Dan Gustafson is a travel nurse from Hastings. He's currently working in a Brooklyn hospital where COVID-19 is widespread. Our John Lawrenson spoke with him about how he and his fellow nurses are doing and how Minnesotans can help their fight. Quite honestly, it's an unimaginable hell um, for many aspects. When talking about the working conditions for he and his fellow nurses, Dan Gustafson isn't holding back. There's definitely PTSD for any of us that have been on the front lines. There's still some units and floors in our hallway. It's like walking down a living morgue. At the Brooklyn Hospital where he's working, Dan says he's seen more people die from COVID-19 in the past five weeks than he'd seen in his previous 10 years as a nurse. He's getting about four hours of sleep a night. At one point, Dan says a nurse was in charge of 31 patients. Staffing has been an issue. So has personal protective equipment. We can prevent that, I believe, if there was better standards and procedures and following uh, worldwide infectious disease protocols that's been in existence for decades. But we just seem to throw all that out the window for some reason. Dan's sister in Minnesota and a family friend set up a GoFundMe page to get health care workers more PPE. In the meantime, he's watching New York rally around its doctors and nurses. But look at this. Look at this love and support. Dan does see better days ahead, and he wants people across the country to know that one of the best ways they can help is by staying healthy themselves. So we're really trying to give it our all, um, but uh, it's just not enough sometimes. You got to do the things that your mom always told you to do when you were a kid. You got to get good rest. You got to eat good food. You got to get a little bit of exercise. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Gustafson says the good news is that staffing has gotten better at his hospital and the number of fatalities is starting to drop. He is hoping people put aside politics and learn from the country's struggle with COVID-19. Stay with WCCO will, of course, have continuing coverage of the COVID-19 outbreak.